at fielding dance hall musicians, uh, Stone Boy and Shatawale, uh, who nearly brought the 20th VGMAs to a halt, uh, have been given a, temp uh, a permanent and indefinite ban, I beg your pardon. Uh, we remember that the award which was held at the Accra uh, International Conference Center last Saturday, have, both of them have been stripped uh, following the discovery and uh, the following the problems that occurred on the night. Stoneboy and Shatawale have subsequently been ordered to return with immediate effect all the awards that they picked on the night to the organizers, Chatterhouse Ghana Limited. The plaques they received for, from the awards are asked to be, to be returned immediately. The decision was taken by the board of the award scheme on Wednesday at a news conference to announce sanctions against the two artists whose scuffle marred the beauty of the show. Also, the two artists, we are told, have been banned indefinitely from participating in all aspects of the country's foremost music award scheme. Let's now listen to what was said at that, uh, uh, that press conference. We decided at a board meeting uh, last Tuesday that there is no reason why we should let um, these uh, two gentlemen um, hold us back in our development. So the board of the 2019 Vote of Kong Ghana Music Award deemed the actions of Shatawale and Stoneboy to have flouted the terms and conditions of the scheme, brought the name of the event into disrepute, and therefore wish to sanction the two as follows. Painfully, I'm not, you know, made to give such an announcement. Also, that both musicians are hereby banned indefinitely from participating in the nominations, selections, and performances at the Vodafone, Vodafone Ghana Music Awards scheme. Also, the two artists are hereby stripped of all awards they won at the 20th VGMA. <laughs> and others requested by the board to return all plaques in their possession to Charterhouse effectively, immediately. Effective immediately, sorry. Furthermore, the two remaining awards announced on that night, unannounced, unannounced. unannounced at that night, sorry, that is most popular song of the year and the artist of the year, have for the, um, have for the 20th edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards been nullified. The board of the VGMA is thankful to all stakeholders who helped to arrive at this aforementioned decision. So that was a breaking news that came a few minutes ago. We've been joined in studio now by Theresa Ayoade. She is the CEO of Chatter House. And then Francis Doku, he's a general manager for MG Digital and MG Radio, and also a member of the VGMA board. Good afternoon, lady and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Thank you for having us. Uh, the first concern when the news broke was, and that question I'll, I'll give to you, Mr. Um, Doku, that it is a harsh punishment, although we all know the severity of what happened. They say the sanction you have given, the total ban, is harsh. What is your take on that? Thank you so much, Martin. Um, I think that there have been a lot of um, discussions, conversations, consultations uh, by the board with various stakeholders in the industry to arrive at these decisions. I think the broad consultations uh, give us the, the, the insight to the fact that the incident that happened was very grievous enough to warrant the kind of, uh, if you like, sanctions that have been applied. So as far as the board is concerned and the stakeholders which were consulted are concerned, this kind of you know, mitigate adequately and fairly and commensurate with what happened at the, at the conference center um, last Saturday. There are those who are saying that um, at least you could have uh, gotten other sanctions rather than just a blanket indefinite ban. Were there other options you could have looked at regarding the sanctions? Again, we go back to the broad consultations. I mean, this is Thursday. This incident happened early hours of uh, Sunday. And so it's taken us this long too. Uh, come out because we had looked at all the options that are available and um, we think that these are the ones that perfectly fit what I think the three issues I mean I'm, I'm sure the discussion will go into that but three issues that came up 
uh, or the, the sanctions that have come up are that two to the gentlemen. One is that they're indefinitely uh, banned from taking part in the VGMA. And again, I'm sure Mona Teresa will explain also that. It doesn't mean that the industry or um, the charter house who are the producers of events have cut ties with these gentlemen. It's just that we believe that what happened at the event was previous enough to put the, the event, the, the VGMA, into disrepute, put Ghana out there negatively. You mm. know the kind of stories that have gone on the BBC, Daily Mail, all over the world. And so we believe that it is good that we serve very strong uh, message that if you want to be a part of the VGMA, there are certain things that you cannot do. It's also to show that what happened was disrespectful not only to the audience there, but to the whole music industry. There are some musicians who have vested interest in, in the VGMA. They think mm. that it is the industry thing that rewards people. And so what happened kind of wasn't respectful to them. And so we believe that these sanctions are adequate enough to make it happen. Yeah. Let me bring you, Madam uh, Ayoade. The, there are those saying that if we are not going to at least have one of the uh, information is that the two categories that were not um, you know, awarded, we've, it's been nullified for now. People voted and they were, not, uh, they were not the only two artists in that category. So someone has, the, on social media commentary is, why don't you give it to the person or persons that won the second position in those categories? Okay, um, to address why it hasn't been rolled over, that's what you're trying to yes. say. Well, um, in the terms and conditions of this participation in the scheme, what we have not um, captured in the current existing terms and conditions is the possibility of rolling over. So that will be inventing something new just right away, which isn't um, something we have thought through to include in. It has always been about announcing the winner of each category, and the award goes to the winner of each category. Now, if the, the participants have shown disrespect to the platform, then that means they do not deserve to be um, rewarded on that platform. And that is why we are stripping them off the plaques that we're giving them on the night. Okay. So they have shown disrespect to the platform, they have shown disrespect to their colleagues, their colleague artists, they have shown disrespect to um, the industry and to the nation of Ghana. So um, by putting up that misbehavior, you know Ghana has, Ghana is promoted worldwide as a peace-loving country, a very peaceful, that's one of our strong um, USPs, you know. So to be able to, 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 to put, to, it's off-brand, it's off-brand to put out that image of mm. Ghana. So um, that, that's what um, attracted this, this kind of sanction. But we, we do not have it in our terms and conditions to roll over. Okay. So it's about just stripping you off it and, um, De declaring it null nullified, yeah. So as it stands, Ebony Rain is still the artist of the year carried from last year? Well, for her year. So this year, it just goes on record that this year, for these reasons, these two categories were nullified. Okay. And that's it. There are questions regarding how you intend promoting the next VGMs because mm -hmm. these are two uh, show-selling artists, mm -hmm. quote-unquote, as has been uh, being touted. Do you not foresee any impact on the brand Vodafone Ghana Music Awards? No, forward. no, we do not see. The industry is much bigger than these two artists, and let's not um, mistake that. The industry is broader, wider. There are so many up-and-coming young artists, already established artists. There's room for more to enter the industry. So let's not limit the industry to these two artists. Mm -hmm. Do not forget that um, this, is the, this is not the first time that we have visited a ban on Shatawale. And the industry progressed and prospered without his participation in the scheme. So the scheme at, at 20 years is way bigger than these two artists. I mean, so many artists have passed through the scheme. It's like a rite of passage in, okay. in the industry. Okay. They have passed through, they've moved on, and the new ones are coming through. So it's an ongoing process, mm. and no artist is bigger than the scheme. Okay. Uh, this question also goes to Chatterhouse, and uh, there are those who are saying, well, you have given a sanction to these two artists. Have you considered a sanction for yourselves following the fact that there are blames being laid on your doorstep that the security breach could have been averted? You know, there can only be a breach um, of something that exists. Ad otherwise, it's not a breach. Okay. So um, there were adequate security arrangements put in place. 
I don't know if you attend events, but if you can recall any event you've attended to that you've been scanned, like you're going through an airport, um, you're going, you're, like you're traveling internationally, mm -hmm. you understand? And even prior to 911, when we all used to travel internationally, we didn't used to go through all those scanning procedures and taking off your shoes and all mm -hmm. of those things till an incident occurred and then, which was a breach of security, and then all these measures were now put into place. So in our 20 year history, nothing like that has taken place. So whatever arrangements we put in place, we believe were adequate as has been done for all these years. Okay. So with this breach, then it's time for us to sit back and elevate the, the uh, measures that we're going to put in place. So that henceforth, if you attend an event and you see all the security apparatus and all the security measures put in place, you will comply and know that, okay, things have been stepped up to ensure okay. um, the safety of our patrons. So um, that's basically, you can only do better after an incident, as much as you try to anticipate. You cannot, uh, no event can be 100% risk free. Okay. So as you anticipate, you plug and um, block holes as they appear, and then you move on. Okay. And uh, back to you, Mr. Doku. Going forward, what are the plans of the VGMs? Have, and then are there timelines as to when these uh, plugs are to be returned? Well, I mean, I think that uh, the board announced today that the plug should be returned. There's no timeline put it. I mean, the board said effective immediately, which means that any time from now, from now, we expect that the gentleman will return the, the plaques to Charter House as, as, as directed by the chairman of the board. Um, and we hope that they will comply to that. Um, of course, there's not much <laughs> you can do beyond that, but with the hope that because you don't, you don't own it anymore, okay. you just give it to the rightful owners, which is the organizers of the event. Um, in terms of timeline for uh, events also, I think it would also always be the same. We announce nominations, you know, we expect that people will submit their nominations, people will be uh, nominated, and then we put it out there for public to vote and then choose winner. We know that the two artists are currently in court. If there's a final decision and both artists show remorse, I would not know how to quantify the remorse, but if there are clear signs that they are remorseful of their act, how soon are they likely to be reinstated to be part of the show? I think a thing about saying that something is uh, indefinite means that the, it creates room for something to happen within a short time, a long time, or any other time. For example, if the board had said that this is for five years or ten years, then it means that it was for that period. Okay. But indefinite means that there's still a room to, to have a way into back into the scheme. I mean, while we were at the press conference this morning, we were shown some sub, uh, screenshot of Shatter saying that he's withdrawn from the VGMA. That has not been made official, but that's his. If, if that's what he's hold, is going to hold on to, mm -hmm. that it means that effectively he's taken himself out. Um, we will then consider other options available. But indefinite means that there's always the possibility of looking at what has happened what your response to it have been, what your behavior going forward will be. And then the board, you know, uh, would look at it again. I, uh, uh, Madam Theresa, are you considering reviewing the Constitution to now put in sanctions and, you know, probable actions that would warrant certain sanctions? Are there those considerations? Yes, um, this incident has definitely called, called for us to review our code of conduct, terms of conditions, etc. And we are really, we are going to work with a legal entity to be able to structure it properly so that we can take cognizance of all such actions. And also to add to what Francis has just said, um, the Ministry of, the Minister for Tourism is actually setting up a, a mediation committee okay. that's going to be made up of representative of the, the board, the VGM board, Charter House, uh, Musica, and other high levels um, representative, re representation to be able to and, and, the, and uh, um, applying the services of a professional mediator to be able to bring these two parties together to, to totally mediate and see how best we can promote unity in the industry because okay. we believe that the VGMA is um, a unifier of the industry. It's the one occasion where the whole industry comes together to review the work we have done as an industry and award and celebrate each other with emphasis on celebrate each other. Mm. So um, it is a symbol of unity. And so much as we have placed these sanctions on these artists, we do not hate them forever. 
It's just that we are upset at what happened. Okay. And we just need a bit of space from them to be able to gather, gather our thoughts and continue to push the brand. So um, I'm sure that if we are able to go through this would mediation it, Would it not be diluting, you know, because there are those who say, well, to the extent of guns coming in and weapons being brandished is taking it to the extreme. But then the spice of the, of the entertainment genre is some of these little disagreements mm -hmm. and, you know, verbal squabbles. Do no, you not think no. that wanting to bring eternal peace is going to dilute? No, no. What we're the, saying the is process? we're promoting healthy rivalry. Yes. It's healthy rivalry, healthy competition. In every industry, there is healthy competition. In every industry, there's competition. The banks are competing. The manufacturing companies are competing in the marketplace. There's competition everywhere. Mm. But it should not get to violence. Okay. Yes, that's what we are saying. That's what we are, the, the spirit of the VGMA is healthy competition. Okay. That's what we are saying. And VGMA is about bringing, allowing fans of music to choose their winners or their, to support, to show their support of their artists. Yes. And okay. it's about fans and not fanatics. Where we are getting to is fanatism, and that's what that's we dangerous. want to avoid. All right. We've been speaking uh, with uh, Madam Theresa Ayoa Day. She's the CEO of Chatter House and also Francis Doku, General Manager, uh, Media General Radio and Digital. And uh, he's also a member of the VGMA board. So if you want the latest to that announcement, go to our website, 3news.com, and be updated. Thank you very much, lady and gentlemen. Thank you very much.